In this example, we will solve simple permutations. In Part A, a grade 12 student is taking biology, English, math, and physics in her first term. If a student timetable has room for five courses, meaning the student has a spare, how many ways can she schedule her courses? When making up a timetable, we can use the letters B, E, M, and P for the courses, and S for the spare. Draw all five letters out of the sample set to form a timetable. Order is important, since repositioning the letters would give a different timetable. Now that we've illustrated a sample timetable, Restore the letters so we can actually solve the problem. In method 1, use the fundamental counting principle to find the total number of possible timetables. We'll use permutation tiles to represent each available letter. We do this because using letters would make our work look like a specific arrangement, rather than general counting. There are five letters available for the first position. Use one of the permutation tiles and carry the remaining tiles forward. There are four tiles left. Use one of the permutation tiles and carry the remaining tiles forward. There are three tiles left. Use one of the permutation tiles and carry the remaining tiles forward. There are two tiles left. Use one of the permutation tiles and carry the final tile forward. There is one tile left. By the fundamental counting principle, there are 5 factorial equals 120 timetables. In method 2, use permutation notation to find the number of possible timetables. We have five objects and we want to arrange all five. This can be done in 5p5 equals 120 ways. And finally, the timetable is a single case permutation because we drew the required items out of our sample set and then stopped. We did not restock and redraw to add additional cases. In Part B, a singing competition has three rounds. In each round, the singer has to perform one song from a particular genre. How many different ways can the performer select the genres? Let's look at an example. In one possible arrangement, the performer could begin with a rock song, then sing a dance song, and end with a blues song. Order is important, since each genre must go in a particular round. The positions can be considered locked because the genres can't be rearranged. In this question, our sample set is subdivided into three groups. We'll use permutation tiles to represent each available genre. We do this to keep the counting generalized. In method 1, use the fundamental counting principle to find the number of arrangements. There are four genres available in round 1. There are two genres available in round two. There are three genres available in round three. By the fundamental counting principle, there are 24 different arrangements. In method two, 
use permutations to find the number of arrangements. In round 1, we have 4 options and we want to arrange 1. We can do this in 4p1 ways. In round 2, we have 2 options and we want to arrange 1. We can do this in 2p1 ways. In round 3, we have 3 options and we want to arrange 1. We can do this in 3p1 ways. Multiply to get the answer, 24. And finally, this is a single case permutation because we drew the required items out of our sample subsets and then stopped. We did not restock and redraw to add additional cases. This is a note for those who have completed the combinations lesson. When we are arranging, or selecting, only one item out of a set, we get the same answer using both NPR and NCR. Another answer to this question is 4C1 times 2C1 times 3C1 equals 24. In part C, a web development team of three members is to be formed from a selection pool of ten people. The team members will be assigned roles of programmer, graphic designer, and database analyst. How many unique teams are possible? You can assume that each person in the selection pool is capable of performing each task. Let's look at an example. Out of the ten people, Fiona, George and Howard are selected and given duties such that Fiona is the programmer, Howard is the graphic designer, and George is the database analyst. Order is important because this is a different team than if Fiona was the database analyst, Howard was the graphic designer, and George was the programmer. In method 1, Use the fundamental counting principle to find the number of arrangements. Bring up the sample set. Use permutation tiles to represent people. There are 10 people available to be a programmer. There are 9 people available to be a graphic designer. And there are 8 people available to be a database analyst. By the fundamental counting principle, there are 720 different arrangements. In method 2, use permutations to find the number of arrangements. We have 10 objects and we want to arrange 3. We can do this in 10p3 equals 720 ways. And finally, this is a single case permutation because we drew the required items out of our sample set and then stopped. We did not restock and redraw to add additional cases. In part D, there are 13 letter tiles in a bag, and no letter is repeated. Using all of the letters from the bag, a 6-letter word, a 5-letter word, and a 2-letter word are made. How many ways can this be done? In method 1, use the fundamental counting principle to find the number of arrangements. We'll use permutation tiles to represent each letter in the sample set. We do this because using actual letters would make our work look like a specific arrangement rather than generalized counting. Set up positions for the three words. We'll begin by assigning letters to the first word.
There are 13 letter tiles for the first position. Assign letter tiles to the remaining positions in the first word. Now assign letter tiles to the second word. And now assign letter tiles to the third word. Multiply all the numbers together. The answer is 13 factorial. By the fundamental counting principle, there are 13 factorial different arrangements. In method 2, use permutations to find the number of arrangements. We can arrange 13 items in 13 ways by using 13p13. This evaluates to the same number as 13 factorial. We were able to fill in all three words using a single draw from the sample set, so this is a single case permutation. An alternate solution using permutations is to begin with 13 letters and arrange 6 for the first word. With 6 letters used up, there are 7 letters remaining and 5 need to be arranged for the second word. With 11 letters used up in the first two words, there are 2 letters remaining and we need to arrange both for the third word. Multiply all three permutations together to get the answer.